What's up, everybody? This is Devin Kepke with Snap Kep Keeps, brought to you by the fine people at Team Card Hoarder. Uh, we're playing against our teammate and good friend, the Jade Tiger, also known as Andrew Boswell. Uh, I think our hand is very good. We have multiple ramp spells, ways to cast our ramp spells, and payoff spells. So I think this is a keeper for sure, and we'll see what we'll see what happens. Part of Logan is six, so that's a pretty good sign. I guess one uh, bad bad thing about our hand is we don't have like the perfect mana because we have a Cinder Glade and a Stomping Ground. So like, if we want to suspend our search on turn one, uh, we have to play our Stomping Ground untapped. Raging Ravine is a clear indicator of a few things. Oh man, another Cinder Glade. Uh, it could be Jund or like Kiki Cord. But I doubt he is a Kiki Cord player, and I would bet dollars to donuts that he is a Jun player. So that's what's happening, I, I suspect. Good thing we have this Lightning Bolt, kill a turn two Dark Confidant, or Tarmogoyf. Dark Confidant, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Anger is a, a solid draw as well. We're just going to play our tap land and then kill his Dark Confidant so he can't um, draw a card off of it. If he plays another Dark Confidant, we're going to anger it right away. Tarmogoyf. Ooh, Scavenging Ooze. Alright. Um, wonder if we kill that. We probably kill that before it gets out of range. But it's very... I kind of just want to take three. You know what I'm saying? I guess if he thought seizes us, it's real bad. We already have double green, so we can just get a mountain to work towards our Valakuts. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to progress the the board a little bit more. And if we draw a basic, um, then we can play it instead of the Cinder Glade and then play our Secure Tribe Elder. Perfect. Just like we drew it up. The greed is real, folks. The greed is real. Ooh, so strong, so masculine. The snake, so snaky. I suspect he's gonna fetch and then eat his Dark Confidant out of the board unless it's Culligan's command. Uh, next turn he's dead though, so that's tight. I like I like him being dead. We finally got a good matchup out of the three. Hopefully he doesn't thought sees us. That would be not ideal. Not ideal at all. What's he doing? What are you doing over there? Here we're gonna block sack the uh, with the snake. Get a forest because we already have five mountains for Valakut. But yeah, he's just. I mean, I guess Abrupt Decay kind of kills us, and we want to make sure not to do that. Fall into the Abrupt Decay range. But the fact that he's tapping out of his black sources is good. So now we can just. I guess we don't even have to do that. We didn't even have to play this, which is kind of excellent. Because now we can just get six mountains and then 18 of them. We don't have to show him the information that we have a, um, a Prismatic Omen in our deck. So he can eat his My Secure Tribe Elder with the Scavenging News go up to 18. Uh, but we can just 18 him with our six mountains. So yeah, not sh I think not showing him the Prismatic Omen is right. Because he definitely has a Replicate in his deck in some capacity. Um, so yeah, I think that's nice. That is nice. I don't know, did I click the middle one? I can't tell. Middle one, are you clicked? Ah, uh, middle one is clicked. All the other ones are clicked? Alright. Just getting six mountains, don't need to get fancy with... Anything else? Other Valakuts or nothing? I wanna, 
I want to get all the all the mountains. Computer is continually freaking out. It's like yes, yes. What a jerk making me go through it. Jerk. Okay, so out of Jund, we're going to want Relic of Progenitus because it is a Tarmogoyf slash Grim. I guess he's playing Dark Confidant, and he's a Dark Confidant lover. So he's probably not playing Grim uh, Flare. Tireless Tracker comes in. Obstinate Baylots come in. <clears throat> Don't know if I want this Anger of the Gods. It seems okay. I don't know how great it is exactly, but it does seem okay. Uh, cutting. Let's worry about what we're cutting first. So we're bringing in Obstin Baylots. So we're going longer? Kind of. I guess we just want to be able to, to hang and grind. Um, Prismatic Omen seems less than ideal because of Abrupt Decay. Colony Heart Expedition doesn't seem great because of Abrupt Decay. So yeah, we're just going to do this. Hopefully naturally draw our... Um, naturally draw our lands and ramp spells that he cannot Abrupt Decay. I think we want all of our action spells because Jund is a discard heavy deck. Maybe we don't want these Lightning Bolts and maybe this other Anger of the Gods is better. I guess Lightning Bolt is like... Uh, you know... Time walk against a bunch of things. Liliana in specific, because if you Liliana ultimate size, uh, we're dead. Well, I'm gonna cut a bolt for an anger. Maybe not on the play though. Maybe on the draw, bolt for anger, or maybe on the the play, bolt for anger. Not on the draw. Yeah, like this. Be as threat dense as possible. And hopefully his discard spells cannot pick apart our hand. Uh, huh. So I think this hand is okay. And I think keeping any any amount of sevens against Jund is usually a good call. So I'm going to do it, but I could definitely see a world where we don't draw a green source. Uh, the reason you want to keep sevens against most discard decks is because... I, any loose 7 is going to be better than the, the yeah, because of discard spells, exactly. Uh, but any any loose 7 is going to be better than like a 6 or a 5 card hand because of Inquisition of Kozilek and Thoughtseize and Liliana. This is good protection against Liliana. Um, he's probably going to take our Elder here or our Bolts, depending if he has a Dark Confidant or not, but I think it's okay. You can see the blo Blooming Marsh coming out in full effect in Kaladesh. If you don't have these yet, uh, you might want to pick them up. They're only a couple ticks, and... These cards are definitely going to be seeing play. Definitely going to be seeing play in Modern. Red, blue, black, green, uh, black, white. All those are certainly going to see play. The other two are... I don't remember. I'm dummy. Ooh, we're so good at magic. So we could play around like Fulminator Mage and uh, Crumble to Dust by not playing our Valakut. But I think our curve is so bad if we don't play the Valakut. And we have hidden information that like... A, he has to have crumbled at us, and B, uh, we drew the Misty Rain. We actually did draw the green source, so we could just, like, pretend uh, we didn't hit. But the fact that he took our Lightning Bolt signifies that he has either a threat on turn two or just a threat on turn two. Because he's not worried about us bolting his face. He's worried about us killing his Dark Confidant right here. Okay, well, we can just mize out our Misty. Computer, please. Alright. F6, because I'm afraid, not afraid of gut shot. Verdant Catacombs. Dark Confidant. So good. So good. Um, I guess one problem that we could have is fast clock. Typically just a fast clock in general is the the way that Jun beats you. They go like 
Tarmogoyf and a Tarmogoyf, or Thoughtseize and a Tarmogoyf, or, you know, any combination of those. Yeah. So, you know, he has the Red Catacombs. Um, I think... Yeah, he doesn't even want to offer the trade, you know. Lucky for us, we have another one. So we're going to sacrifice this. Uh, start working towards our Valakut, I think. Because I, I believe we can just get a ne another green source with the... Ne with the Next to Kira Tribe Elder, uh, and I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about our Valak boots, and we drew a forest, so that is okay. Player Mountain, because he knows about it. Tap like this, for no reason in particular. Um, I guess we're not going to F6, because he could have a Lightning Bolt, or, you know, Dark Blast, Dismember, any sort of those things. And I suspect that he is going to Lightning Bolt this if he has it because of... Uh, just to get damage through. Computer. And he's going to do it now so he can leave up mana on his own turn. Maybe not. Yeah. I was thinking he wouldn't because... I guess Dark Confidant's going to take him under 18 anyway. Ooh. The Whiffed Inquisition. Nice. Yeah, d take it all, buddy. Feels so good whenever they whiff on their Inquisitions of Kozilek. Uh, he knows I'm going to soak up 4 damage instead of trading with his Dark Confidant, especially because I have a Primeval Titan in my hand. So this is a good attack from him. Definitely a good attack from him. I guess the worst worst play for us this turn would be uh, like Fulminator Mage, something along those lines. Because it would take us off of our Titan. Okay, well he didn't have it, and we're we're really really lucky. Here we're just gonna get Valakut Valakut Mountain. So the next turn we can play our Mountain or our Valakut out of our hand, and then 20 form or something something crazy. So we get a Valakut and then a Red Green Land because it is technically a Mountain. Yeah, he's uh, he's not in a good spot for sure. Not in a good spot for sure. Terminate my Primeval Titan is fine. Duress. Man, it's two discard spells that have whiffed from him. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Alright, so we're just gonna 18 him exactly, I guess. Play our Valakut, play our Primeval Titan, get two mountains, go from four to six mountains in play. Uh, didn't necessarily need to tap my Cinder Glade, but we couldn't cat we couldn't we weren't gonna suspend our search for tomorrow anyhow. Get to red green lands that are also mountains and 18 him. There's nothing that I can think of that, that could break this up. Except for, like, Feed the Clan. I guess Feed the Clan would be alright. I would be happy that he brought Feed Clan, uh, Feed the Clan in against me. Bam! Exaxes! Alright. Uh, what did we learn in this game? Primeval Titan's a powerful card. Duress and Inquisition are not great against us. Or weren't great against our current hand. Uh, opponent got a little bit unlucky, but, you know, I'm sure... I'm sure he'll get lucky. I don't know. We'll see.